Hey, this is Tyler. Welcome back to Teach Online TV. In yesterday's video, I talked about hosting live webinars, some of the benefits of hosting webinars, and some of the equipment and the technology that you're going to need to get your webinar up and running. Now today, I'm gonna to focus on how to promote that webinar and how to structure your presentation on your live webinar. So in order to host a webinar, there's a few things you're gonna need. The first thing is a registration page. So this is the page that shows the title of your webinar, the who's hosting it, the topic of the webinar, the time, and a link to register for the webinar. After someone registers, the next thing you wanna do is send them to a thank you page. So this is just confirms that they've registered for the event. It, gets, it reminds them to add it to their calendar. It's even better if you add some social media sharing stuff on that page so they can invite other people, you know, their friends, their network, to attend the webinar as well. The third page you're gonna need is the actual presentation page. So most webinar softwares are gonna give you that page. They're gonna give you a link that you can share with your audience when it's time to host the webinar. They're gonna click on that link, it takes them to the page and that's where uh, they're going to watch your presentation. And the last thing you're gonna need is your email list. You'll need an account with an email service provider and you wanna create a specific email list for your webinar so that you can keep track of everyone that's registered for the webinar and you can send them some emails after the webinar is over, like perhaps a replay. So once you've got those four things set up, it's time to start promoting your webinar. The first thing you should do is email your list of subscribers. So your, your normal, the people who are signed up for your newsletter. So those are the first people that you should, you should tell that you're gonna be hosting a live webinar. Another place you can promote your webinar is on social media. Share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, share it on LinkedIn, whichever platforms you're on. You could even run ads on social media. You can run paid ads to promote your webinar. Another option is to promote your webinar from your website. So maybe put some pop-ups on your website, maybe something across the top or in the sidebar of your website. This is something we, we do at Thinkific for our weekly webinars. If you, you see the sidebar on our blog, you'll see that you can uh, click on an image that promotes our weekly webinar. Another thing you can do is invite joint ventures. And I talked about joint ventures in another video on, on Teach Online TV. But if you know anybody else who has access to your target audience, who has an email list of people who might be interested in your course, you can ask them to promote your webinar for you to their audience and then if, any, if, if anybody from their audience buys your course, you split the sales with them. So those are just some ways that you can promote your webinar. The next thing you wanna do is make sure you have a solid presentation and you're ready to rock when those people get onto your webinar. So what I'm gonna do now is give you an actual structure to follow for your webinar presentation. This is a structure that's been used many times and it's proven to be very effective, especially when it comes to selling online courses. So most webinars are about 60 minutes long, not counting a Q&A. That can be you know, 15, 20 minutes after the presentation is over, where you hang around and you, ask, you answer questions of your attendees. But in that 60 minutes, you wanna break that up into certain chunks. So the first part is the meet and greet. And so this can be about five, 10 10 minutes uh, just before your actual webinar start time. So if, if your webinar is starting at one o'clock, make sure you show up five, 10 minutes early because some other people might be showing up early as well. And you can just kind of greet people as they, as they hop on, ask people where they're from, get, get a little bit of engagement going, let them know we're gonna be starting in a few minutes. And you just do that, you just conversate with people, engage with people up until the start time of the webinar. And then you say, okay folks, we're starting the webinar now. And you always wanna start on time. So once you've started the webinar, that first part, you wanna spend about five minutes doing what's called an introduction. So just welcome everyone to the webinar, remind them what it's about, thank them for attending, uh, ask them to uh, remove any distractions, you know, close their email, close their social media, and just really focus on the, uh, on the webinar for the time that you've got with them. Reintroduce yourself and reintroduce who you created this presentation for. This lets people know that they're in the right place. So if you go and call out you know, who, you're, who your target audience is or who, you've, who this information that you're about to share is for, and then they can think, okay, I'm in the right place. He's talk he, this person's talking about me, so that's fantastic. You also wanna set the expectation. So let them know how long the webinar is going to be. Let them know what, what, uh, what content you're gonna be sharing. That if you're gonna be presenting your course at the end of the webinar, Tell them that up front so that it doesn't catch them by surprise later on. Let them know you're gonna share some of your best advice in about 30 minutes, and then you're gonna tell them how they can learn more, and you're gonna make them an offer at the end. So you wanna set that expectation up front. 
You also want to take a moment to just really quickly establish credibility. So for those people who maybe don't know who you are, or they've just, they're just hearing of you for the first time when, by finding out about your webinar, really quickly let them know who you are. Share those credentials, share that experience, share your, you know, your track record of, of, uh, of who you are and, and why you have the expertise to share the information that you're gonna share with them. So once you've finished with the introduction, and again, that should only take about five minutes, you wanna move into the second part of your presentation, which is called your story, or some other people call it a hero's journey. So you wanna share your journey. How did you learn what you're about to teach and what impact did it have on your life? And this is a way that you can introduce the problem that you faced, the solution that you found, and the action steps that you took to solve that problem. Because remember, nobody buys an online course. What they're looking for is a solution to a specific problem. So you wanna tell that story of how you found the solution and now you've got the expertise to, to pass on what you've learned from your journey to help them with their journey. So that part takes about five or 10 minutes just so that they know that you've been through what they're going through. You've been where they are and you know how to get them from where they are to where they wanna be. The next step is the presentation. So your presentation, this would probably last about 25 to 30 minutes. So this is the bulk of the webinar. And you're gonna share some of your best advice on whatever your area of expertise is. So your top three tips, or your top five tips, or mistakes to avoid, you know, something that's gonna help that person get the result they want. Something that helps them upfront that they can actually go and implement after the webinar and get a result that they're happy with. And what this does is it builds a lot of trust. When you help somebody for free upfront and they think, wow, if this is what this person is sharing with me for free, I wonder how much more knowledge they have in their course. I wonder how much more helpful their course is going to be if this is how helpful they are in just, you know, 20 or 30 minutes. So when you transition to the pitch, and this is where you actually present your course, you want to actually show people what's included. And again, thank them for taking the time to be on the webinar. Let them know that you did your best to uh, give them some actionable advice. Uh, in the time that you had with them, but if they want to take things to the next level and if they want to learn your subject in more detail, then invite them to check out your course and show them what's included. Take five, 10 minutes to, wa to walk them through all the different modules in your course, the lessons, you know, the different types of training and resources that you've included in your course. Let them know what your price is. Let them know if you have a guarantee of any kind, like a money back guarantee. Show them testimonials of other people who have taken your course. And you also wanna throw in some bonuses just to help increase that perceived value of your course. So a bonus could be a free call, you know, like a free consultation or a free coaching session. Uh, with that student. Maybe you invite them to uh, some live uh, group calls that you hold with all of your students. Maybe you've got a Facebook group set up for your students. You know, whatever additional resources or additional time and attention you can give to that person, make sure you offer those bonuses on the webinar. Once you've done that, you're gonna, sh you're gonna show them the link or give them the link to sign up for your course, and then you're gonna to transition to Q&A. So let them know that you're gonna stick around for a little bit. If anyone has any questions, they can ask you those questions at the end of the webinar. And this is a great chance to overcome some of those objections that people have, or you know, come address some of those concerns that they have. Now, you may have done a great job with your presentation, but there might be you know, one or two things that you didn't address and somebody would need the answer to in order to make a decision to enroll in your course. So it's really good to hang around for a good 15, 20 minutes, or as long as you're willing if the questions keep coming in, and just spend that time answering questions and being as helpful as you can. You're gonna leave uh, the link to your course uh, sales page on your, on your screen, on, on that presentation while you're doing the Q&A. Again, you're gonna thank everyone for their time, and that's how you end the webinar. So when all is said and done, you should have spent about an hour on your webinar presentation and then 10, 15, 20 minutes afterwards answering questions uh, that anybody on the webinar might have. So that's how you host a live webinar to sell your online course. And again, I touched on some ways that you can promote your webinar, how to structure your presentation. And remember, we have a complete guide on our blog. So I'll make sure we've got a link to that below the video. Feel free to check that out. It has the links to any resources, technology, equipment, all that stuff that you're gonna need to run your webinar and a recap of everything that we discussed uh, in this video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in another episode of Teach Online TV. It's still recording, right? Sorry, man, I'm making so much editing for you. <laughs> Link that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. <laughs>